We're up to fan questions for Steve Hackett with our brand new interview we just did a few days ago. And this one's all about The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway from Genesis. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Under the Mediterranean Sky is coming out on January 22nd. You can pre-order it on HackettSongs.com. There'll be links to his website in the description of this video. Someone had said something when I asked about it. We talked on John Lennon Day, December 8th, and you gave me a good clip on the Beatles. But someone had asked, they said, well, I would like for him to do Lamb Lies because I, 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 I don't know why I wanted more Steve Hackett on, on, on that album. What do you have to say about that? Um, again, you know, I think that things can be driven by fans and uh, a lot of people are very interested in the lamb. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I think there's a, um, a paucity of outstanding guitar moments on that album, whereas I think its predecessor, Selling England by the Pound, has um, a vast quantity of, 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 of guitar moments that I'm still proud of. But that's the show I did last year. But that's a very good reason for me not doing the lamb, unless Peter Gabriel wanted to do it with everybody and 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 and, and reform. But uh, for all those reasons, I think that um, I I would count me out. You know what I mean? If you yeah. want to hear, if you want to hear some guitar moments, there are a few on the lamb that are, that are good. I think "Fly on a Windshield" is probably my favourite moment there. That's a good piece of music. I think Lamia is nice. It's quite a lot. It's a, it's an interesting album. It's a kind of a cross between, um, you know, proto punk in the lyrics and vocals meets classical music. It's a little bit like Rachmaninoff meets Johnny Rotten, really. Tony and 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 Pete at loggerheads with each other, managing to come. I don't know something that was was done god knows how we've managed to reconcile the differences between everybody but it came out as the um lamb lies down on broadway the the first song i mean you start with this this beautiful to me i i felt like almost a sense of travel and even a slight like the ominous like a sense of competition with the amdina i i, I love that song was that always going to be the first song um, well, yeah, it's 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 Medina. I, I thought it was spelled with an E, but it's a place uh, in Malta. It's a walled city within heavily fortified Malta, which was um, in in um, in the Second World War. There was a huge siege, the siege of Malta, where people were starving. And um, but it wasn't the first time that that place had been besieged. You know, the Knights of Saint John, uh, you know, the invasion of the, of, of, of the popes troops, all, all of this stuff, you know, so it was a place that repelled, and it's, their harbour is like a fortress, it's huge high walls, um, and um, built to withstand cannon shot. Anyway, um, Medina, it was either going to be Medina or the third track, Sirocco, because Sirocco um, is really about all things to do with the desert. It's about the regions that border the desert. Uh, Julian Francis asks, what's your favorite Genesis track that you're not on? Favorite Genesis track that I'm not on? Oh, my God. Um, let me see. Oh, probably Visions of Angels. How about that? Under a Mediterranean Sky is a brand new album. You can order it on Steve Hackett's website. There'll be links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rock History Music.